I'm dragging the folder into terminal and typing sh benchmark dot sh and the score comes in at about 60 and also with the M4 Pro 2.8. Hi friends, welcome to PDF. Apple just dropped the M5 MacBook Pro. Today we're testing browser speed and Xcode build time. The two things real users actually feel every day. All right, let's start with the browser test. Let me compare it with my existing M1 Pro MacBook Pro and also with the M4 Pro and M5 MacBook Pro to see how much faster the browser performance actually is. I'm running speedometer 3.1 now. Here you can see it starts working. I'm fast forwarding this a bit to save time. On my M1 Pro MacBook Pro, the score is 33.5. Now, let me run it on the M4 MacBook Pro. Again, I'm making it a bit faster. And the score comes around 52.8. And finally, let me check on the M5 MacBook Pro. I'm fast forwarding again. And the score comes in at about 61.75, which is significantly faster. That means M4 is roughly 57% faster than the M1 Pro. M5 is about 85% faster. Pretty wild for browser performance. Now, let's see how this translates to real life on my M1 Pro. I'll open 100 Chrome tabs. And as you can see, it still runs smoothly uses only around 12 gigabytes of RAM, and honestly, there's no lag at all. So in everyday browser performance, the M1 Pro is still a beast. For the developers out there, let me run the Xcode benchmark test. I'm opening terminal using the benchmark folder I downloaded from the Xcode benchmark GitHub page. And yeah, I'll leave the link in the comments. Now I'm dragging the folder into terminal and typing sh benchmark dot sh. All right, let's see how fast it compiles on my M1 Pro MacBook Pro. And there you go. It takes 188 seconds to finish. Now let's compare that with the M4 Pro and the M5 MacBook Pro. The M4 Pro does the same test in just 121 seconds. And the M5 finishes in 145 seconds. So that means M4 Pro is about 36% faster. M5 is around 23% faster compared to my M1 Pro. So yeah, in real world development workflows, the M5 improvement isn't that dramatic. If you're already using an M1 Pro, just like me, you can still comfortably use it for Xcode development. And if you want a budget upgrade, you can also look at the M4 MacBook Air, which is way cheaper, only $999. And honestly, it can handle almost everything the M5 does for everyday users. So if you don't need extreme performance, this might actually be the smartest upgrade. All right, guys, that's the wrap for the M1 versus M4 versus M5 MacBook Pro showdown. What do you think? Is the upgrade worth it? Let me know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.